or uh, kind of any complete control keyboard from the M32 right up to the S49 Mark III. That said, the S49 has also uh, eight uh, buttons uh, and it has the touch strip as well. So as you can see, I have the opportunity to uh, um, obviously uh, apply the knobs, the buttons, the keys, uh, the pedals and the touch strip. Um, so that is uh, everything you can see. There's the, there's the eight buttons along the top uh, and then uh, the knobs, the eight knobs. So if we go back to template, this is the one that comes up by default. And as you can see, there's a set of CC numbers that are already put in. And these are obviously common ones that are used. So basically all I did was press plus uh, and name it as Polymax and create a new template. And that is it here. These are, So these are the global CC numbers that um, uh, you, uh, Universal Audio have supplied for Polymax. And you can do them in obviously in any order you want. But uh, I kind of started off um, left to right. Um, so I put in the oscillators um, and then the oscillator levels, the noise levels, the noise color. Um, and then on page two, um, I uh, got the cut off the res, um, the uh, envelope amount, attack, decay, release, amp attack, amp decay. And then on page three, uh, LA full rate and space. So if you want another page, because there was only two pages on the template, so you just add that, you just press plus and you'll get another page. And like I said, there's only two things on page three. So the main one's obviously the cutoff and the res um, and the uh, the shape. So that's, uh, like I said, shape one, uh, that's FM, that's shape two, and that's oscillator. Um, and I've actually, I've actually duplicated it. So I've actually um, got two oscillator two levels um, by mistake and uh, I just left it because <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered going back. So uh, like I said, you can just click on these, uh, you can double click and then you can name it. You don't have to name it, but you might as well because um, it is quite useful. And then, so once you click on it, you just get whatever the, the, the number is. So if you click in here, so you leave this as is, so you, we're assigning the control change uh, and we'll leave it on MIDI one. So the only thing that you change in here is this number. So for oscillator shape, uh, it is CC number 26. So you just click in there and put in 26. Um, and then you leave that on absolute um, and the range uh, is more or less exactly as that. So like I said, it's very, very easy. You don't really change anything um, uh, unless you wanted to make a program change uh, or off, you can have it off as well. Um, so like I said, you just click through these, the oscillator FM, is 70 so you just click in there and put 70 and that is it you can see the cc numbers so that's 27 uh, 85 86 uh, 89 and 29 for that and page two you can see the cutoff is 74 so if we scroll down we can find the cutoff uh, and then you've got the cutoff frequency 74 and the resonance 71 so it is very very easy like i said it only takes about 10 minutes to do it uh, and that's you i'll close complete control down now. Like I said, I can adjust. This is the cutoff. So uh, we could uh, maybe try another patch that I've not shown. So if we go to so if we go to cutter, we are crusher uh, on the leads, and just uh, see what this is. Um, so I'll close that down. So we can see uh, on page one, I can adjust the shape. The oscillator shape. And then uh, oscillator shape two. So I can kind of match those up. Like I said, you can't adjust everything. They haven't got CC numbers for everything, which is a bit of annoying. So we could uh, make them both saws. And you can adjust the course tuning uh, manually as well. You, there's no CC for that. So you can adjust the levels. So that's level one, level two. We'll bring level two in. And then you can switch the noise up and also switch between pink and white. So, uh, And then page two, we've got the cutoff. And the envelope. And then we have got 
the decay and the attack. So we could take the attack down. And then the last page has the early full ray and the space effects amount, so which is decay uh, delay on this one. So that's it, you can't adjust anything else. There's only uh, 18 global CC parameters you can change. So, um, which is a bit odd. Why not just have them? Why not have the, the these mod effects, the time, the feedback, the ARP ones? I mean, there's not like there's thousands of buttons to, to, to map. So like I said, you can't change any of the course fine. You can change the FM on page one change that but not the mod so I can change I can change that bit but not this one so I have to use the mouse so you're you're kind of baffing about between mouse and, and keyboard uh, and there's nothing for the volume the master volume something that you adjust quite a lot um, so that's it, we've got unison, so we can take the unison down a bit as well. So yeah, so that is uh, that is what you can control via the global CCs. Why not just do them all? Because like I said, on, on this particular keyboard, you can have as many pages as you want. You can just add them. You could have like 30 odd pages or something of control. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I mean, this is one of the advantages of the complete control keyboards. You can do all this quite easily. So anyway, so hopefully you found this uh, helpful, uh, not just for Polymax, but for anything that you want to set up MIDI mapping for. So anyway, so thanks for watching. And as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you in the next one.